Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial we'll be talking about TGF beta signaling. Not more but little bit about TGF beta signaling. Right? So what is TGF beta signaling? One minute. Okay. So TGF beta signaling. Now TGF beta signaling is a very very important signaling guys because this signaling is required for in many many sections of us in many different regions uh, TGF beta signaling is there in uh, during the developmental process of Xenopus and also Drosophila you will need this TGF beta signaling and in Drosophila development especially the proteins like TRU, SCREW is having this process so this is a very good uh, very important way of signaling now we are going to study the overview now TGF beta is, is a TGF means the tumor growth factor right It means tumor growth factor beta. So there are different types of tumor growth factor alpha, beta, gamma and many things but this is the tumor growth factor beta. Now this uh, factor is very much important during the normal cell dis distinguishing between the normal and cancerous cells also. Now in this process what we know let's say this is the cell surface. Now onto the cell surface there are TGF receptors right. So two types of receptors can be there, TGF type 1 receptor and type 2 receptor. So this is the receptor number 2 or type 2. Now TGF beta is a hormonal receptor, this is a hormone is coming, so it is simply a hormone, growth factors mean it's a hormone. So this tumor growth factor is coming and sitting onto this tumor growth factor receptor type 2, this T TGF receptor type 2. So once it is sitting onto this receptor type 2, it is getting activated. Now what it does here, it brings it brings the TGF 1 or TGF growth receptor 1. So this is the TGF growth receptor 1. So let me draw. This is the TGF growth receptor 1. This TGF growth receptor 1 is getting phosphorylated by TGF growth receptor 2. It's getting phosphorylated. Right? So this is the receptor type 1. So type 2 is being activated due to the attachment of the hormone and it is activating type 1 by phosphorylating it. Once the type 1 type of receptor is phosphorylated, it is being activated. Now remind you, both the type of receptors type uh, 2 or type 1, all of them are kinds of serine and threonine uh, kinases. So these are simply serine, so serine threonine kinases. So kinase means it is having the phosphorylating activity as uh, they activates many proteins inside the cell by phosphorylating them, right? So serine threonine kinase activity is there, type 2 is activating type 1 by phosphorylating them. Now once the type 1 is getting activated, there are proteins inside the cell called SMUD, S-M-U-D is there, right? Now one such protein like called R-SMUD is inside. Now this type 2 will phosphorylate the R smart. Once it is activating this R smart, this R smart will go and bind with another protein inside, which will, which is called co smart. It's called co smart, right? So R smart is getting phosphorylated. R smart is now going and binding with co smart. So this R smart co smart complex now, this complex is very very important. The R smart co smart complex will now enter into the nucleus right so here it is the nucleus right? this is the nucleus nuclear membrane for example that this complex will migrate to nucleus once it is migrating inside the nucleus along with other transcription factor and this cosmod r smart complex this cosmod r smart complex along with the transcription factor will uh, sit on to the DNA right and the promoter region of the DNA or the gene which is to be expressed right and then it will express that particular gene so this is a very very overview of this pro very basic overview of the process many different uh, internal system is there many many secondary response is there many downstream processing are there but I'm just focusing on some basic concepts here that is 
Now R2 uh, is getting the signal, it is activated, it is activating R1, then R1 is activating R smart, R smart is attached to co smart, and then this combination is moving inside the cell, and then they are sitting onto the promoter transcribing the desired gene due to uh, the activation of this process. So once TGF is coming, you see this response because the gene will give the phenotypical response. We can see the response, but inside all of these things are happening. Right? During the development of Xenopus and Drosophila, this signaling is very, very important. And also it is very, very important during, this, during the normal cell signaling function. Right? So that's it, guys. I hope that's helpful. Thank you.